Yeah, it's not quite those um, LA vlogs, is it? But you got nice. It has its own charm. It's worse because my windscreen and my car is filthy as well, so it just adds like a, it's like a lot. Yeah, I think it's a shit lot. Yeah. I think we'll just add better looking places. To the Expecting going in. I don't know why I expected, but it ended up being a lot smaller than I thought. Not the event, the, the console. <laughs> right. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Right. Um, but in a good way. It's a bit smaller when you're playing in big screen mode, but then when it's in a handheld, it's quite a big chunk yeah, of handheld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think gone are the days where you put a, a games console handheld in your pocket, people carry rucksacks when they're traveling and stuff like that. Now it's more, we're not trying to go for that bit in my pocket kind of audience, I don't think. No. Because those no. kind of people are playing games on their mobile. Exactly, if you've got a phone that does crappy games on the move, and some good games, like, yeah. to be honest, but you, this needs to be something totally different, I think it was. Yeah. I think the, the, the switching between the two was, was worked really well. Seamless is really yeah. good. Um, and as you said, the graphics on both were good. Um, just like all the qualms I had with it were really little qualms that would go away within a week. Like just feeling the controller didn't feel quite right. Yeah. Like the, the small one felt too small and the big one felt too big. But if, you know, you play it for a week, I'm sure you yeah. get used to it. It's very much a case of we like picking at things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because overall, great. like you, you could, it could so really easily be a thing where we come in and go, yeah, it looks good on the screen, but it looks shit when you put it in handheld or yeah. vice versa. Or yeah, actually, it doesn't feel good at all. Like it all worked fine. It all felt it works, really good. It works very well as a home console and a handheld. Yeah, which has never happened before. Yeah, exactly. What about games? What did you enjoy? I'm now interested in Zelda for the first time since I played the, the uh, Wind Waker. Yeah. Um, I just haven't been bothered about Zelda. I said to you that before that the whole kind of mystery surrounding Link yeah. makes me not give a shit about him because I don't know anything about him. But no, like the world is beautiful the way it opens up. Um, yeah, Zelda's great. What did you think of Zelda? Uh, yeah, again, like I'm, I haven't really played, I've played Ocarina of Time like for an hour and I was like this is an old game don't need to play this anymore um, but that was really interesting to me the RPG side of it like the free roaming uh, as a guy handily pointed out you wear clothes and the clothes do different things and I was like oh okay when I said I haven't played Zelda I didn't mean I've never touched a freaking games console before <laughs> but, um, but that was good yeah um, that I mean that was nice so we, we did like a 10 minute kind of supervised demo and then afterwards there was a free open 20 minute play the full demo demo yeah where they just left us alone. And I had so much more fun the second time around. Yeah, yeah Having someone so. tell me what they wanted me to do as opposed to, like when you really get into that world and you're able to explore, I was finding things and then the guy sat next to me was finding something completely different. Yeah. And the guy sat on my right was doing another completely different thing. And, and I think that's what I've never really seen in a Zelda game. Splatoon looked fun as well. That looked fun, yeah. yeah. Splatoon, Splatoon is Splatoon. The, the, um, the big thing for me, I feel like Nintendo, they just go for fun a lot of the time, yeah. and that's fine if they own it. Like if they own that they're just the fun guys, you know, who make the wacky consoles yeah. that do different things, and you can have a lot of fun with that's fine. But with this, obviously, they're, they're selling it as like a, a proper console, and you can see with the way that they've taken Zelda, that was more of a proper, you know, serious RPG yeah. style game. It's what it's it's it was a style of game that you expect from the other the other platforms. Yeah, exactly. So they got to find that balance still because yeah. it is fun, and and I think for me, I'd already say I'd, I'd have to get a pro controller with it straight away. Like, yeah. like the, the, again, because it's fun, the, the the grip things are fun, and that's all really practical for when you want to use it. But when we're playing Splatoon, I was like, no, I want the pro controller. Like. Yes, yeah, yeah, I can see why, but I think without with the motion controls so far, turned off, it'd be fine. Um, I think I genuinely think the Joy-Con grip control is fine. Splatoon is just Splatoon. I think when it started doing different things, that was where it was more interesting. Like the entire concept of me and my girlfriend playing Snipper Clips. Yeah, Snipper Clips was great, really, really good fun. Like you have to think, but it's not too difficult. But then like it's wacky and fun, and there's loads of stuff to laugh and have fun with. Um, but then it's a two-player game, and you already out of the box have everything that you need to play two-player. Like yeah, it's all there. And like the Joy-Con grips, like the Joy-Con individual controllers were great, and, and I think that's where 
I can potentially, after playing it more, see the real strength in this console coming from not indie devs, but yeah, indie devs and potentially and just smaller teams yeah. or big companies who have a breakout small team who make their Switch games and really unique, fun games happening on there. Yeah, and really, the Switch is going to become the couch co-op console. I just, I genuinely believe that because it's all there and it's ready to go, and it's not like because it's built into the console that there are two controllers yeah it, it isn't a choice for development thank you nintendo it's great we it's had fun. a lot of fun yeah you lovely stuff yeah they were they were nice now try and get footage of the 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 sign for the nature center that has the red panda on it <laughs> for the thumbnail <laughs> for the thumbnail i've slowed down in the middle of the road okay i've got it i got, got, got it did you get it yeah i got it <laughs> I easy click mate oh shit What's that? The part of the camera? Yes, that is the lens. 